I'm uh, Joe Mahevic, a city councillor in uh, the former city of York is when I started with, uh, with Art Starts. Uh, that goes way back to 1991-92. In fact, I remember uh, Robin Pacific, Elizabeth Chinello and a few others coming to City of York uh, Council and asking for, if I remember right, a $10,000 grant to get Art Starts uh, going. And of course, since then, it's been uh, quite the adventure with Art Starts in our community. And you are? That's it. I inherited Joe's ward and he, I think he, he mentioned, he, he was giving me a verbal tour of the, of the ward before I took over that section and he mentioned Art Starts. He said, you got to go down and have a look at it. So I went down to Oakwood uh, Avenue, they were operating on a storefront and it was phenomenal. Uh, I also happened to be negotiating a deal at the time with Yorkdale Mall. Uh, and they came to me and they said, uh, we're, we want to put an addition on Yorkdale. I said, well, you've got to give me some space for the arts. Okay, and here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an arts center, community arts center. Uh, and they agreed. So we installed the community arts center at the, in the basement of New York Hill. And then the light went on, and I, I thought about Oakwood Avenue and Eglinton Avenue, and art starts operating on reaching out to the community, the kind of organization I wanted to see in New York Hill, and we married the two together. So eventually we turned over the space at Yorkdale to Art Starts, which I think has given Art Starts a nice anchor. Um, and the nice thing about Art Space in my local community is that they've reached out to places that never had that kind of experience before, like Neptune, uh, which was a wasteland. There's no community space in Neptune, which is a, uh, it's a, uh, uh, our Canadian, it was Ontario housing at the, originally, but it's a housing company building. Uh, there's no community space within the building whatsoever, and uh, arts, there was a high crime rate, and your art starts moved in and started working with mothers and, and kids in that complex. That's the kind of stuff I've seen them do on Edmonton and on Oakwood, and uh, they're going to end up be doing all over North here. So this whole idea of community space using uh, being really present to the community, uh, the reason why I supported uh, very early on um, Art Starts is precisely because of some of the problems that we were experiencing in our community. In the early 1990s, Oakwood, Rogers, Vaughan was a very troubled place. And really what was happening was the demographics of that area was ch were, were changing. A largely Italian immigrant community was being replaced by a multicultural, multiracial, multilingual community that wasn't really talking to itself. And um, that allowed certain activities to go on that shouldn't have gone on. Uh, and what we figured out very quickly when we got into uh, office, this was in 1991, was that we really needed to focus on community development, community development, community development. We needed to find ways in which the community could start to re-engage itself with building the project, with the project of rebuilding the neighborhood. But art and kids are a common language. Oh, absolutely. Okay? I mean, that's, art is the common language of everybody in the community, and that's why art starts so valuable. Because start bringing kids together, and once you bring kids together, you bring parents together, and the community starts engaging in a dialogue. Yes, and the brilliance of art starts, which wasn't there as much, maybe here, a little bit here, a little bit there in Toronto, was that they popularized and broadened this concept of community arts, which is gaining, which which really means a professional artist working with the broader community on a project that is co-determined by that broader community. And we're trying to basically the, to turn the community on its head, to get the Vietnamese people talking to the Latino people, talking to the Caribbean people, talking to, and just kind of mixing it up. Art Starts understood that instinctively, that project, and supported it with, uh, with its uh, a programming. We are going to actually build this diversity thing that we like to talk about and we sometimes don't know exactly what it all is about. Uh, one of the vehicles for that is just to get artists working together, but also artists really immersed in and speaking from and working from a, a strong community base.